Super Bowl 60 has not been announced by the NFL yet. And I am still waiting. I'm still trying to figure out possible sites for Super Bowl 60. Now think about where we've been over the last couple years, right? This past season, we had it in Phoenix. Great venue. Great time. Los Angeles, year before, Super Bowl 56. Hey, it was in our backyard. I, I, I had That's a right. pretty good time. It was cool. That's year before that, we know, was the uh, COVID Super Bowl. Not everybody was able to, to attend. It was in Tampa. It was Tom Brady, the Bucks. They had, you know, won the Super Bowl. I didn't get a chance to go, so I can't really give you the feel of the Tampa Super Bowl because it was still very uh, restricted amongst our country at the time. Yeah, there were fans, but it's there not were like fans, but yeah. there wasn't media row. There wasn't all that fun stuff no. that normally you know we get to do in the in the media at a Super Bowl week. Right. So you had that uh, the year prior was Miami. Remember that one, Chiefs. And uh, 49ers, that was pretty cool. Only thing about Miami is there's so much to do in Miami. Yep. Like you've got the beach, you've got downtown, you got Brickell, you got Coral Gables, you got the. I mean, you're just all over the place. And so I feel like it's too spread out, but it's always a great venue. And then before that, we had Atlanta. Atlanta was pretty cool, Atlanta right? And then, yeah, let's not talk about Minnesota again. <laughs> that was the first time, by the way, I'd ever been in uh, negative temperatures. Oh, wow. negative. Yeah, I'd never been in negative before. Whew. I literally walked out of my hotel at the Mall of America and immediately you ever see that Homer Simpson, uh, not Homer Simpson. It's uh, it's the grandpa. It's a grandpa. Yeah. Walking in. That's how it was for me. Right back out. Yeah. He walks into Moe's literally and like turns, <laughs> turns around. around. Yeah, that was exactly me. <laughs> that was, I, I said, whoa, I'm not doing this. <laughs> had to go back in, had to change my whole outfit for the day. <laughs> so, <laughs> Minnesota was something that's yeah, but. Uh, I think Houston could be on the dock. Houston um, was a good time. Yeah, I'm going to start with you, Brock. What what, what do you Man. think should be the venue for Super Bowl 60? I will say I had a little birdie, just a little birdie. I'm not a little, I'm not breaking any news here. Okay. I'm just saying when I was on the red carpet at the NFL Honors, Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, did walk down the carpet and we presented the question to him. Hey, Jerry, you know, Super Bowl 60 coming up. We don't have a venue announced yet. Would Dallas be interested? And all he said was, we would love another crack at it. Hmm. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what Roger Goodell, how the NFL views returning to Dallas, which I think they definitely deserve a second chance because that first one, I was there in Dallas when they first built the stadium and – they had the ice storm, and mm-hmm. it was a mess, yeah. total mess. So I can see Super Bowl 60 in Dallas. What about you? Man, Super Bowl 60 in Dallas. I did not go, Mike, but I remember how much of uh, you know, issues with the ice storm and just the, the not preparedness yeah. to handle the elements kind of down there. We talk about this a lot here about Super Bowls. I think that it should be literally like a four or five city just rotation. Yes. Now that we have SoFi Stadium here in L.A., the best stadium in the country, that should be in the mix. Las Vegas, now that they have a new stadium. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and just how awesome Las Vegas is in general. Correct. Uh, we'll see how it goes next year, but they should be in the mix. New Orleans, that's a great city. That's a great spot for a Super mm-hmm. Bowl. That should be in the mix. And then Florida. Let's just call it Florida. Because just call they it Florida. Have, okay. You got Miami, They South Florida, they could do it. Tampa, we know they could do it. Jacksonville has had success hosting Super Bowl. So let's just call it Florida. Maybe lump Atlanta in there. So just like the whole SEC, like they get the a shot. SEC. At the, so just that little like Southern swing across the whole country, right. that should be the mix for me. Dallas, eh, you had a shot, you blew it. Well, you do know I stayed on a cruise ship in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. Is that cool or not cool? <laughs> it was so cool, by the way. Yeah, it's because we stayed cool. on a cruise ship. They brought, remember, they didn't have they enough hotel yep. rooms in Jacksonville for the amount of people that come to a Super Bowl. So I stayed on a cruise ship and you actually had gambling on the, yep. on the cruise ship. Now so you got the casino, the whole aspect of it. That. And it was probably better to stay on the cruise ship than it was to stay Sign in the uh, like, Sign Del Tufo, you already know. All what right, about so you? I've what you got? You've been doing this a long it, time. I'm a technical guy. Yes, the technical Having guy. Having done 20 Super Bowls and yes. been, been involved in it, I look at it technically. I don't care where the stadium is. It's just got to be a stadium that's good for the technical side of it. And in, in a sense, Miami's amazing. 
Okay. New Orleans, after they redid it, was amazing. Obviously, the black, when they lost the blackout. Yeah, Beyonce. When they, when, and then when the uh, yeah, lights Beyonce's, went out. Yeah, just, Beyonce's it, halftime Beyonce, show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but at the end of the day, I, I agree with Chris. I think there's like kind of it should be in certain spots and be like kind of cycled around. And in reality, the best spots, I like San Francisco, though, also. Mm. San Francisco should be in there. Vegas should be in there. Dallas should be in there. Miami should be in there. And New Orleans should be in there. But I get why teams want to. You know, they want it there because it's like it makes money for the city. A lot of money oh, a lot for of the money. city. Phoenix I mean, should be in there. I got two wild cards for you. And, and it won't happen for Super Bowl 60, but maybe 65. And I'm talking about the new stadium that will be built in Nashville for the oh, Titans. 100%. So you got to think they're going to get into the rotation. 100%. When the Chicago Bears get their situation going. If they get a roof. When they, when they get a either a roof on Soldier Dumb. Field or they go out to, I think yep. it was at Arlington – Park, Arlington, wherever they're going to build their new stadium. Yep. It's going to have a roof. Chicago is a great place for you. And we saw what it looked like for the NFL draft. So that's another great place. TJ, what, what are you thinking, man? Super Bowl 60, where are you going? I mean, I literally think between the three of you, you've listed every city in America. So, I don't really <laughs> no, I'm saying, but what's no, your which favorite Star Wars? Outside of Dallas, because uh, we're not just going to go because you're a Cowboys uh, that's fan. A, yeah. We're not just going to have it at AT&T. Well, then, uh, then if you're just going to eliminate the places that I'd want to go, <laughs> I would say leave it here in, in Southern California at SoFi. Mm. That way, when Super Bowl happens, we can all stay in our own cribs. We can sleep in our own beds and ain't got to go nowhere. That would be my personal preference. The weather here is great. You know, why, why not? Let's keep it here. If we all had the opportunity and the NFL said, we're you know what, we're, we're going to do it, and we Rose all Bowl. were able to bring the shows that we're all a part of, would you want to go to London for a Super Bowl? Oh, yes. Ooh. Yeah, but, uh, oh. is but does it, it take is away it, from the – Is it a dome stadium? Because it's uh, going to be cold. It's rainy in February yeah. in yeah. London. Yeah. They're all open right? fields. Yeah, it's good. I mean, if They're they could put a little roof fields. over there. Wouldn't it be easier to go to Mexico then? Yeah, if you could put a roof on it, and anywhere with a roof, that's all I care about. I don't like the outdoor stadium is always cool, but you got to have a nice spot for it. Like having the roof open in Phoenix was great. Yeah, like it was like lucked out when they yes. had it in New York. It was just a nice day that yeah. day. And they then were, the, the following the next morning, all of a sudden snow. it had the full on <laughs> snow blast, and I wake up and I'm like. Oh. I hope my flight doesn't get delayed. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but it was still fun, though. But I, I think Super Bowl 60 for me. Um, Dallas. Whew. You think Jerry's going to get Dallas. rewarded? I think, I think, I think, I think he's Dallas is going to get I think it. it's going to be Dallas. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I'm looking at where are the places that can handle yeah. a Super Bowl. I think it's gotten so massively yeah. much more bigger. Like Jacksonville was 05, and they had a tough time getting it. And just think about all the people. How many events were going on, fellas, in Phoenix that weekend? It's crazy. I mean, you had basketball games. You had waste management. You had this. And it was packed everywhere. Every hotel filled up. And how many cities can truly handle a, 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 you know, a Super Bowl? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 